Hi there! Welcome to Disney Dreamlight Valley Helpline today. I'm Tessa and I will be your no-nonsense guide through your DDV adventure. In this video, I'm going to show you how to earn quick money. This is important because you need money to upgrade Scrooge his shop, fix up Goofy's his stalls in every area, fix the walls in every area, and you have to buy a home for every new character that comes into your town. You also need money to upgrade your own house. If you press E for every task you do, and you go to the orange sign, Scrooge will come to you. He will talk to you about the improvement, in this case about your house. For the next upgrade, I need 20,000 coins. That's a lot of coins. Perhaps some other time, Scrooge. Thank you kindly. I find it's easy to make money with products that are given to you for free, like foraging fruits and herbs, fishing and mining. Make sure to do this with a buddy. They give you more products to sell. When we press escape, you go to collection and you go to ingredients. First you see the vegetables. The vegetables you have to grow yourself with seeds you can buy at Goofy stalls. Next you, s you see are the fruits. The fruits you can forage. The best fruit to sell is the gooseberry. As you can see in the information bar at the bottom of your screen, the gooseberry will sell for 50 coin each. They regrow in 40 minutes. That's why I start foraging first, because it takes a lot of time to regrow. You can find the gooseberry in the frosted heights and the forgotten lands. You can go to map. And you will see that mostly you start in the plaza. Through the sunlit plateau, you can go to the forgotten land. And through the forest of valor, you can go to the frosted heights. When we go back to the collection, and we go to ingredients again, and we go back to the fruits, the second best fruit to sell are cherries and coconuts. They each sell for 42 coins per piece and they regrow in 33 minutes. You can find coconuts on Dazzle Beach and cherries in the frosted heights and sunlit plateau. When I start the day in the Disney Dreamlight Valley, I always start with harvesting because it takes longer for the fruits to grow back. After harvesting, I always go fishing. And after fishing, I always go mining. And with the mining, I do two or three rounds. Every area has its own kind of uh, a special kind of fish. You have white bubbles, those are regular fish. You have blue bubbles, or you have gold bubbles. The best fish to sell is the anglerfish. You can sell it for one and a half k per piece and you can find it in the forgotten lands, in the golden bubbles. The second best fish to sell is the white sturgeon. The white sturgeon will sell for 1.2k per piece and you can find it in the frosted heights in the golden bubbles. If you have the golden bubbles in the frosted heights, you will get a white sturgeon. White sturgeon is, are the foxes who live here, favorite food. But you can also sell it, and you get 1250 
quench for it. I find mining and fishing the easiest way to make money. And the best gem to sell is the shiny diamond. The shiny diamond will sell for 2.4k in the forgotten lands. The second best gem to sell is the shiny amethyst. You can sell it for 2k and you can find it in the forgotten lands and the frosted heights. As you can see you have normal gems and you have shiny gems. When you do quests for the villagers they will never ask you for a shiny gem. So you may want to hold on to the nor normal gems for the quests, but you can always sell the shiny ones and they make more coins. Mo mostly I do two or three rounds of mining with my buddy and all the gems I get from that and I sell them makes a ton of money. And the <laughs> And the mining stones are easily regenerated. So when you're done with a full lap, you can start all over again. So now you know, the products that bring in the most money will be found in the Forgotten Lands. And the frosted heights. So when you just start and you only have the plaza, you might want to unlock sunlit plateau first, and then you can unlock the forgotten lands. Or you go to the forest of valor first, and then you can unlock the frosted heights. So after all the foraging of the fruits, the herbs, and the spices and the fishing and the mining. Let's see how much we made. So let's go sell at Goofy Stall and we take the herbs and spices. We take the fruits Just remember, don't sell the iron ore, coal ore, or stone, because you need a lot of those for the quests from the characters in your game. Let's get the gems. You see, there is a little green gem and there is a bigger green gem. The little one is the normal, Peridot, and the bigger one is a shiny, and it gives more money. As you can see, it's four times more than a normal one. Let's sell all the fish that you caught with your body. And we have 22k only within 22 minutes time of work. Let's sell it. As you can see, it goes immediately, immediately into your coin wallet. And you can start all over again, because by this time, all the fruits and herbs have grown back. So you can go start again with foraging, you can go back to fishing, and you can go mining. And within an hour, you have tripled the money. Thank you for watching my DDV helpline. I hope it helped you with your DDV adventure. Don't forget that you can also use the money you made to go to Scrooge's shop. He sells clothes and furniture and his inventory changes daily. Like and subscribe my channel for more tips and tricks videos.